great serpent will deliver us from this. So our mission is to talk with this person here. All must serve. Well, look who it is. You have made quite a stir, and given the state of things, that is a singular accomplishment. To what do I owe the honor, diviner? Did he now? Hmm. How magnanimous. Is, is there a problem? But approval is approval, and I will gladly take it. I will spare you much of the technical detail, as I confess that pieces of it I barely understand myself. One cannot help but notice the energy field around the scaled citadel. Until yep. we can get through it, we cannot shut down the experiment inside, and it has proved quite impossible to get through. We had the beginnings of a plan to build a makeshift contraption to redirect grav drive energy to see if we could penetrate the barrier, but the project came to a halt. Yeah, because it Politics could actually make things worse. I can imagine that without the speaker to issue clear directions, things have been difficult. Every one of the houses needs to contribute, and every one realized they could potentially use it for leverage. What should have been a cooperative effort turned contentious. Easy decisions became negotiations. And so, construction never began. We have sat here, staring at this disaster as supplies pile up for well over a week now. Serpent help us, it is infuriating. The Council just so happens to represent the three houses under Varun's banner, who are also entrusted with various aspects of running, well, everything. Okay. Each of those houses needs to contribute something to the project, so the Council is the final stopgap. Were the Speaker here, he could bypass all of it with a wave of his hand, but, well, you have already seen the state he's in. I don't disagree, but allow me to impart some advice. Most would consider that disloyal, possibly even heresy. Keep that kind of talk to yourself. Okay. I believe I've done enough complaining for now. Time to get to work. If you're here, the Council has likely sent word to the Houses that it's time to stop the infighting. <laughs> I doubt it will be enough. I need to oversee construction here, make sure things are built to specifications. If you could follow up with the houses, that may speed up the process. Crease the wheels. I appreciate that someone around here is eager to get to work. House Fetal owes us access codes for the city power grid. It's the only way to guarantee enough power to activate the device. House Kadik was supposed to provide a young scientist named Sahima to help me. She had at least some experience with the original Citadel experiment. No idea why they refused to send her. And Hasmek, the new elder of House Dulkef, he has been distant, guarded. He claims to have vital information about an important component of the experiment, but has withheld it until now. Help me get what we need. And we will see what we can do for the speaker. And for House Varun. And I may have something that can help you in whatever trials the serpent puts before you as we navigate this. We have been nearly overwhelmed with all that has happened over the last few weeks, but I have still spent some time doing my own research when I can. These phantoms, the vortex. Fascinating subject, really. Yeah, if only there were some less disastrous way we could have discovered all this. I know, I know. I have lost friends and colleagues myself. We have encountered several interesting phenomena. First, while the phantoms shift to a fully human form when killed, yeah. they often retain small shards that appear to be an almost crystallized version of Vortex energy. Yeah, I noticed. 
Second, we have learned that killing the phantoms sometimes causes an even greater disturbance. Uh -huh. Horrors, as they have been colloquially termed, can appear from somewhere. We are unsure of their origin, but it is not within our universe. These horrors and their spawn are infested with cysts, a seemingly organic manifestation of vortex energy. We have managed to collect enough to run experiments and have devised a method of combining them into an explosive mixture with varying properties. Okay. While they have no use in the development of the morning device, if you find yourself out in the field, I believe they could have more practical applications. So they are crafting components. The process is simple enough that any industrial workstation should suffice, if you have the materials. And, depending on how you combine said materials, you may find the results to be somewhat variable. I hope you can use that to your advantage. Just look around. I'm sure you have at least some idea of how much we have physically lost. A huge portion of the city is just... gone. And those left behind are struggling. Supplies are limited. There is so much work to be done, and we are all just so tired. I hope that eventually we can return things to the way they were, but we must be realistic. That will take time, and I suspect a great deal of it. Not enough to have prevented it from happening. If I had any idea it was going to turn out like this... I... It had been Inasco's primary goal for some time. A way to recreate Jinan Varun's encounter with the Great Serpent. Okay. Everything we knew about grav drive technology, every scientific advancement we'd made in the last hundred years was poured into it. Towards the end... <laughs> I was just so exhausted. I asked for a brief time off. Had I not, I would be trapped in there with the rest of the science team. Hmm. I don't know about that. Seems that it would have been easier to just not have it happen in the first place, wouldn't you think? I left the project weeks before the disaster. And at that point, we were nowhere near ready. Some breakthroughs were made shortly thereafter. And they ran the experiment. And here we are. Yes, depending on how much trouble you're getting into. Trouble? We have been nearly overwhelmed with all that has happened over the last few weeks, but I have still spent some time doing my own research when I can. These phantoms, the vortex. Fascinating subject, really. Yeah, if only there were some less disastrous way we could have discovered okay. all this. You already told about that. Okay. I know, I know. I, we have encountered. Second, these horror we have managed to go. Well, they. The process is, and. Okay. That was enough. Um. So now, now, now we just need to talk with the. Talk with the people and gather some items. So it is running around at this point of the game. to give please Jamal don't you see how all this works in our favor 
It's not up for discussion. I won't risk what we've worked so hard to achieve. It's done. No, you'd risk our future and reputation as a house. But you are the chosen elder. Ah, don't patronize me. The Great Serpent spared our house. We are favored here. And shouldn't you get back to the Council? We can't afford to be absent at a time like this. I guarantee I'm not missing much. But you're right. I'll be heading back soon enough. Hmm? Something I can do for you? Shouldn't you be working with my sister? Serpent guide. So... Akris has sent our newest diviner to inquire about Sahima. Don't worry. Jamal's already told me all about you. I'm okay. Rosma, elder of House Kadik and head of the Ministry of Conjunction. Conjunction, okay. Well, it's also an honor. <laughs> Not to really. Meet one as interesting as yourself. I wouldn't have suspected an outsider to be made promised. But who am I to argue with the Great Serpent's choice? Impressive. I see now why you must have been chosen. So they are not I know as the religious. Is to Sahima for answers. But the truth is, she's been taken, along with other members of the house. Okay, taken. They're being held hostage by zealots, and now they're demanding negotiations. This is a major overreach. I have never known the zealots to be so bold. Because right now, this situation is a matter for the Ministry of Conjunction. As much as the Council thinks it's their business, it's not. At least not yet. They want Sahima, and we're trying to produce her. What happened to Dazra was a cataclysmic event. The city may seem in order now, but those first few days, it was chaos. And the Zealots took advantage. You are right when it comes to trust. But I don't believe the negotiations are a trap. The Zealots have yet to name specifics. At best, they'll demand an inordinate amount of credits or firearms. Worst case, a seat at the High Council or even the reinstatement of their house. House Malene. They know we can't risk Sahima for Dazra's sake. So, they won't hold back when it comes to demands. What if I go and shoot e everyone there in the head? Aha. Uh -huh. My thoughts exactly. Ah, rescue operation. Normally I'd have agents doing everything possible to find them. But we too suffered losses. We need to be here. Present. I couldn't risk more lives. It's the only reason I even agreed to these negotiations. But now that you're here, I can finally take action. Yes. It does seem more than mere coincidence. Doesn't it? But there's still one unanswered question. I don't know where the Zealots are keeping Sahima, but I have a good idea who does. Their name is Merrick. Merrick is a Kadik, and they also work for me as an agent in the Ministry of Conjunction. Uh -huh. This is where matters get. And he sees a Zealot as well. Complicated. Uh, 
As I said, Merrick works for me in the Ministry of Conjunction. They've been establishing an inside relationship with the Zealots for some time now. On my orders. Okay. Forcing them to give up the information could jeopardize all they've worked for. So don't expect them to be forthcoming. Get the information any way you see fit. As long as no physical harm comes to them. Understood. <laughs> okay. Merrick is proud of what they've accomplished, so I doubt they'll give up information easily. If being persuasive isn't your strong suit, perhaps appealing to their substantial ego may help. If you can stomach it. Just don't be direct. I'm sure it would put them on the defensive. Either that or make them completely unwilling to talk. What better way to surveil a threat? It's important for us to know what the Zealots may be targeting to stay one step ahead. The Zealots don't trust easily. If their location was discovered, Merrick would most likely be the first they'd suspect. They'd never trust them or any agent of House Kadik again. Um, which might be a uh, plan here. See that you do. You'll find Merrick upstairs in the meditation room. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, shall we use some stuff here? You're no member of House Kadik. What are you doing here? Forgive me, I didn't realize we were entertaining guests. You must be the outsider I heard of who shares our beliefs. So tell me, what would a chosen one such as yourself want with someone like me? you know oh I certainly don't I may have many talents but mind reading isn't one of them <sighs> after all I've done I guess this means the High Council is still asking Auntie Razma where Sahima is. And if you're here making demands, she obviously has decided to make use of you rather than undergo sincere negotiations. I see what's going on here. Well, I am one of the few to go oh, yeah. out of trust with the Zealots, so she should be. I can't imagine where the Ministry of Conjunction would be without me. The Ministry of Conjunction? Oh, yeah, I forgot, you're not really one of us. The Ministry, as my auntie puts it, deals in information. Information it's broker. It's our job to know what's going on and where for the safety of our people. Oh, it's, it's a KGB, like basically. Say, it's espionage okay. at its yeah. finest. Yes. I can see the jealousy all over their faces. It's nice to see I'm being properly recognized. 
I may excel in my skills, but it doesn't mean the hours I put in are any less. You <laughs> can't do this. Exactly. There's still research, analysis, documentation. It, too much documentation, uh, if you ask paperwork. me. But altogether, I have the exact talents needed to do this job, which is why I was entrusted with the Zealots in the first place. I admit it hasn't always been easy. They are Zealots, you know. You have no idea. I can't even tell you how much time and effort it's been to sway the Zealots my way. Not to mention the stress over my own personal well-being. I may be the best at what I do, but I'm not stupid. The Zealots do have the element of unpredictability. I had a feeling this conversation was going to take a turn. I've worked hard to obtain my position with the Zealots. And like I've told Rosma a thousand times, I have no reason to believe they're going to hurt my dear cousins, especially Sahima. So, as far as I'm concerned, that information stays with me. As much as I'd like to help you, I don't think so. I think I've considered them enough. Well, it is the biggest variable. If anything, they are unpredictable. Point taken. All right, I'll let you in on their location. But remember, you're the only one that knows. If word spreads, I'll know exactly Who's to blame? The location you're looking for is Shadow Station Epsilon. It's an old Varun base that they've taken over for themselves. Shadow Station. Rosma will know it. Let her tell you the details, seeing as how I'm about to be reassigned. Isn't the answer obvious? The Zealots will know the location came from me. All that hard work thrown out the window because someone refuses to undergo negotiations. It better. Okay, yeah, that that worked out in the in the end. You must have gotten the location. The serpents give us knowledge. Well done. And luckily, I know the place. If my intel is correct, you can find Shadow Station Epsilon in the Badlands, north of Dazra. I can send you the coordinates. Epsilon was once a research station, with a focus on grav drive manipulation. The Zealots have since vastly expanded upon it. But it makes sense if they intend to use Sahima to their advantage. The sooner the better. We will do whatever is necessary to bring Sahima and the others back safely. Now that we have a rescue mission underway, I'll speak to Merrick about setting up the negotiations. I expect them to be pliable after their last encounter with you. Uh -huh. The current plan is to hold them at one of the geothermal power stations. Meet us there when Sahima and the others are safe. Right. Good. Serpent willing. Your timing will line up. I'll stall the zealots as long as I can. Which shouldn't be an issue. That Lots of long said, talks. I'd still appreciate it if you could act quickly. Now, Jamal wants an update before you leave. Just don't let her distract you for too long. 
Diviner, a word before you go? Tell me, Diviner, what do you know about the Zealots? An oversimplified observation, but correct nonetheless. The Zealots are widely frowned upon within our society. They're a remnant of the Serpent's Crusade, days we'd like to forget. Has my dear sister given you any history on our house's relations with the Zealots? I'm surprised she even mentioned that much. Razma would have everyone believe she only wishes to keep an eye on the Zealots, so the Council can make informed decisions. The truth is, she's had this particular group of Zealots under her thumb for quite some time. This is only a problem now because she's lost control. Okay. That is the real reason why Razma hasn't informed the High Council, and I'm sworn to silence. I would argue that what you describe would be considered treason. And rightly so. Exactly. House Kadik already has a reputation for being sympathetic to the Zealots. But the truth is far worse. Razma wants the Zealots to back House Kadik, so the balance of power between the noble houses would shift to us. She's been employing them, paying them in supplies that aid their blind crusade. House Kadik would be condemned should anyone outside our house find out. What none of us expected was the disaster that is the scaled citadel. The aftermath is what allowed the Zealots to grab Sahima and the others, flipping the balance of power in their favor. Razma has lost control and is putting House Kadik's reputation and power at risk. And that's what I wish to speak to you about. Uh -huh. House Kadik shouldn't be associating with zealots at all, except on an extermination level. But worse, we absolutely cannot be supplying them with ordinance of any kind. We need to cut ties with the zealots altogether. Far from it. I want you to put an end to any connections between House Kadik and the Zealots. And while my position won't allow me to be blunt, I'll still make it clear. Should the hostages not survive, Rasma would blame the Zealots and cut all ties. House Kadik would go to any lengths, it seems. What we need is Sahima's research, which she has with her. You just need to bring it back. I see I misjudged you. How unfortunate for us all. Well, should you change your mind, the offer still stands. And Diviner, this conversation stays between us. Dirty politics. If you're here for Asma. She's in her office. And she didn't hear anything, hopefully. Okay. No. Serpents guide you. Nice kitchens. Twenty-eight level robot. Okay, interesting. Okay, it look, looks like a <laughs> normal robot. So it, they have an interesting fascination with, with this kind of weird object.
I suppose we are going to Vulcan food. This gun has been pretty good against terror morphs. Vortex Grenade Glowing Vortex Shard and stuff So we can make explosives out of the Stuff Nuclear Fuel Rod Okay It's just laying around here A bit like a Brahmin from the from the fallout. Scavenger. Okay, nutrients. Nothing I nothing too interesting. on the air not really spawned correctly Okay, there's lots of them.
another one down. You cannot beat me. Good one. It's not the best you can do. I had lots of grenades. Where is she? Oh, that's a lot. I think I'm poisoned. Okay, what is that? Okay, she's up. Apparently our plan devolved to the go there and shoot everyone in the face. I suppose they should be like pretty much cooler ways to ways to do this, but yeah, this is how we are doing it now. Okay, let's see. I think we have something. Shaders are much, much better than in the, in the release version. You 
Okay. Yeah, we are, we are not killing the hostages. Who... Who are you? Oh, I knew the serpent would hear me. It's more than just me. There are others. The zealots have been using them to force me to continue my research here. Okay. They think I have all the answers since the original experiment was a catastrophic failure. The zealots were wise in their tactics. Up until now. So my theory is correct. Or I should say, the High Council now believes my theory, the better theory, is correct. Something like that. I knew it! I told them their algorithms and insufficient testing were only giving the illusion of stability. But no, no one wants to listen to me. Not the girl who put people twice my age to shame when it came to assessments. Of course, this is what it would take for Razma to send someone after me. Negotiations? Oh, right. I'd almost forgotten. I overheard the Zealots mention negotiating with House Kadik. So the motivations are clear. Not only does the High Council deem me important, but Razma needs to remove me from the equation. I get it. But at least now everyone knows I was right. <laughs> yes, step one is freeing the others. The Zealots aren't aware of how I've been delving into their systems here. I told them I needed full access if they expect me to replicate the Nasco's experiment, and I didn't even bother with risk assessment. They think I'm applying my theories to their poor excuse for technology down here. Granted, I could probably make it work if I had to. Right. Focus. The other hostages are being kept just beyond this room. I can disengage the locks to their cell and grant you access to an elevator in the room beyond that will take them to safety. Okay. You just have to clear out that area first. And the zealots down there are... different. How different? The zealots you'll encounter beyond here are... altered somehow. Uh -huh. To be made thus would be to show them the Great Serpent's mercy. Some may, but keep in mind that we are scientists. Many of them have never seen true combats, and are no longer proficient with weapons. But some, like me, may still be capable. Just don't expect much of them. Oh, I'm not going anywhere yet. While you get the rescue underway, I'm going to set up certain guarantees here. I'll meet you and the others outside. And a well thought out one at that. I just need enough time to set up a remote device so I can launch a virus that will render this place useless. Think of it as a failsafe to guarantee our safety. The Zealots would never risk this base or their ships. You sure will. Okay. That was pretty, pretty interesting. So, uh... Great launcher and hostages. Uh, that's that's not the best best idea, but I'm out of good ideas. Ah, they noticed. everything Reforged in 
interesting. Okay, these these are bad 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 customers. Berserker. Okay, that's not maybe not the best. Economic handle. Making crits, crits legacy would be like pretty good against this. Yeah, that's what I get from giving her uh, grenades. Get this, this hostages. Interesting here. So how how do we get here? Okay. Serpent, be merciful. Has help finally arrived? Who are you? You are coming with me. Are you here to help? You are in a zealot. Who are you? The great serpent is merciful. And Sahima? Did you find her yet? I wish it were that easy. The zealot separated us. Our brethren are still out there. Well, of course. Please, I can ready my people here, but you'll have to deal with the zealots and rescue the others so we may all escape safely. We'll be ready. Clear the caves. Can't use this. He has a sword gun. Definitely hitting from the close range. There's a robot down there. You died today. Ah, he is still alive. This we didn't check this out. There must be something in all of that you can afford to let go of. Ah. Here. Great serpent. Protect me. Thank the serpent. I thought I was done for. Yeah, she was in a Firing range. I 
Well, that definitely explains. Okay. Is this the end? The great serpent has heard me. Thank you. Redeemed. Okay, he's... He should escape. Okay, that's enough. Everyone is here. Nice we all made it. You did it. We're safe. You did it. It's true what they say. The air really does smell fresher. Serpent, bless you. We owe you our lives. Thank you. Praise the great serpent. It certainly was a test of faith, but one I hope we all passed. Now, I believe you have some negotiations to attend to. I'm going to stay back a moment and make sure everyone here is okay to make it back safely. I'll catch up with you shortly. Just let me know where the negotiations are taking place. Don't worry. Razma came through for me. It's only fair I return the favor. I'll be there when it counts. Now go. These members of your house have suffered. I can respect your decision. Inside. Four people inside. Maybe more outside. This would be like interesting way to deal with the thing. Is your intent to be unreasonable the whole time? I thought this was a negotiation. We're having a friendly chat, aren't we? It's not my fault you don't find my offers acceptable. Nah, just the person I wanted to see. Please tell me you bring good news. Hmm, exactly what I wanted to hear. Razma, who is this? You allow any commoner to just waltz in on official business. I'd expect better security from House Kadik. <laughs> this is hardly official business. Yes, and now these so-called negotiations are over. Over? You'd risk everything after the whispers of a stranger I demand to know who this is. Your doom. <laughs> I can. Uh, you see, Ryan. You think I care about Anasco Varun, son of a traitor? Only a complete fool would expect me to believe this. It's true, Mihail. And if you don't leave now, peacefully. I'll make sure your ships and Shadow Station Epsilon are made dust. You... How did you... You're bluffing. Test me. You think a genius mind like mine wouldn't find a way to hack into every system in your base? Yep. This remote device will launch a virus that will detonate systems within Epsilon, and reach your ships as well. You realize how this may affect future partnerships, Razma? You'd jeopardize our connections. It jeopardizes nothing. It merely restores the natural order. Gold. Natural order. I could take you all out here and now. You know every one of us is prepared to answer the serpent's call. Good thing. Ah, okay, we, we can launch the virus. No one is meant to die today. Except the uh, 50 people I just shot. Okay. Only a heretic would be blind to the Great Serpent's work. Oh, my eyes are open. It's just hard to discern the truth through all the treachery. Oh. You 
may be newly promised, but I can't deny how the pieces fit. All right. I won't deny my brethren the death they deserve. But I won't forget this either. Don't think this won't change anything, Razma. Things have already changed, Mihail. From the moment you kidnapped House members. These negotiations are over. Now leave us. I can't believe the Zealots listened to you. Yes? Well, we just need to kill 50 people and they listen. House Kadik is in your debt. As am I. I owe you my life. Sahima, you are a part of this house. I... I know. I just wanted to say thank you. Yeah. Personally. And here, it's the research and algorithm the High Council wants. I'm sure they'll appreciate it more coming from you. I'm going back to check on the others, but maybe come find me when you're done. Great. You can find me at the Great House whenever you get the chance. We'll talk later, Sahima. <laughs> As I was saying, House Kadik is in your debt. You've helped me maintain a very precarious balance. And one day it will. But until then, they're a necessary evil. Okay, so nothing changed. Yep. I'd appreciate it if you kept this a secret. A fair price to pay for silence. The others involved know better <laughs> than to speak of this. You seem to be understanding our society quite well. Now, I have much to do, and so do you. Ekris and the High Council will be expecting you. We have nothing to discuss here. I'll see you back in Dasra.